When the bridge was being built, the state inspector stood there and watched little fish upstream. And they'd go under the bridge, and as soon as they hit the plume of AMD, they immediately turned around and went back upstream. The stream is pretty much dead. Well, mining in Deckers Creek started out back in the um, late 19th century. Uh, mining uh, largely in the Freeport seam uh, liberated uh, what we call pyrite, uh, the mineral pyrite. And when pyrite is exposed to air and water, uh, you get sulfuric acid and iron. The sulfuric acid then starts dissolving the rocks around it, clay, shales, whatever, and as a result, you get a lot of these metals going into solution and then going into the creeks. Uh, the iron is what we normally think of when we think of acid mine drainage, but it's, it's a brownish, reddish mineral. Uh, and because it oxidizes and forms what we call ferrohydrite or pretty much like rust, that's the, uh, the reddish color that you see in the streams, but there are lots of other metals involved as well. So right now, you look at it and of course, it's low gradient, low oxidation water and orange with a lot of sediment in there. If you could imagine a pristine watershed, you're going to see a huge variety of vegetation. You're going to see a huge variety of animals and just all that stuff compounds on top of it. With the Richard Mine Treatment Plant going online, it is, it is a big deal. It is going to link the healthy fishery of the Mon River with the healthy fishery of the upper Deckers Creek. The purpose of this is to take the untreated mine water, raise the pH, remove the metals. The metals will be sludge, which can be disposed of properly. The water will have uh, a higher pH to, that aquatic life can live in. All this work we've been doing with acid mine drainage over the years has had one objective, and that is to clean up watersheds, clean up creeks, all those attendant benefits. In 2015, the Department of Energy, U.S. Department of Energy, came out with a request for ideas on how coal waste could be a feedstock for rare earth, and critical mineral recovery to help the U.S. supply chain. Uh, there had been some studies to the effect that that might be beneficial. So when we looked at that idea, uh, we, we thought of acid mine drainage as a good feedstock because all this acid that's being produced in the process of making acid mine drainage, leaching out all these other metals, had the potential to leach out rare earths. So we got some samples of acid mine drainage, looked for rare earths, and sure enough, they were there in a readily extractable form. So in a sense, uh, you have nature doing the hard work of, of putting those rare earths into solution. So clean water, in a sense, is our main byproduct in recovering rare earths from acid mine drainage. Being so close to WVU is such an asset because of the research that, that goes on. And Friends of Decker's Creek works closely with uh, Paul's uh, Water Research Institute. When you're on the rail trail, you should see the same pretty stream from Preston County down to Morgantown. And that can only help with tourism and recreation. A lot of work over the last 20 years uh, by the Friends of Deckers Creek, West Virginia DEP, uh, other agencies and, and organizations have helped clean up that middle part of Deckers Creek. So the last big insult on the way down to the Mon River is the Richard Mine. So with that cleaned up, you'll have the ability for fish to swim from the Mon River all the way up into the upper reaches of Deckers Creek, and that makes for a much more healthy and robust fishery.